Percents of numbers. Gavin opens a package of 32 cookies. If he eats 75% of the package of cookies, how many cookies did Gavin eat? That sounds like a thing I would do. 75 out of 100 times 32. What's great about 75, that's how you deal with percents in general. You, you divide by 100. What's great about 75% is that it simplifies. If you divide the top and the bottom by 25, it simplifies to 3 out of 4. So that's a really nice simplification that you can use. And then, you know, you can say it's 32 over 1, so don't multiply 3 times 32. Cancel this out first. That's 8. Just like what he did. 8. So that's 24 cookies. Okay, now Cameron is, is even crazier than Gavin. 92 cookies, 75 out of 100 times 92. Same thing, that's 3 out of 4 times 92 out of 1. Well, 92 divided by 2 is 46, divided by another 2 is 23. So 23 times 3 is 69 cookies. Sixty percent of the flowers in the garden are red. Sixty-five pl flowers are growing in the garden. How many red flowers are in the garden? Okay, not so bad. Sixty percent of sixty-five. All right, well, again, this is a nice one. We can divide the top and the bottom by twenty, which gives us three out of five. Then we can do three out of five times 65 over 1. But 65 divided by 5 is 13. So we end up with 13 times 3, which is 39 flowers. Forty percent of the flowers in a garden are red. If ten flowers are growing in the garden, how many red flowers are in the garden? All right, sometimes you just gotta, look, forty percent of ten, that's one we should just sort of number since, right? It's a fraction of ten, it involves four, forty, probably four, right? Forty percent of ten is four. Four red flowers. Now they could trick you by saying how many are not red, and then you'd have to do ten minus four, this kind of thing. A runner's route is 24 miles long. If 50% of the route is gravel paths, how many miles of gravel path are on the runner's route? Okay, 50%, another one you should just kind of sense out. 50% means half. Why? Well, 50 out of 100 simplifies to, when you divide the top and the bottom by 50, one out of two. So you just get one half to 24, which is 12. Ten percent of the flowers in the garden are red, and seventy flowers are growing in the garden. How many red flowers are there? Ten percent. All right. Ten percent of anything shaves off a zero. Right? It's just one out of ten. Seventy divided by ten is seven. So seven flowers are red. Again, I'm looking for tricks. Always keeping your eyes peeled for tricks. A restaurant sells 85 breakfast meals each day. 20% of the breakfast meals are pancakes. How many orders of pancakes does a restaurant sell each day? 85 times 20 over 100. Well, luckily for us, this simplifies to 1 over 5. And then 80 divided by 5 is 16. So it's 16. What did I do wrong? Ah, it's not 80, 80, it's 85. Sorry about that. I just read it wrong. 
So 85 divided by 5 is 17. I knew I was wrong because I didn't see 16 in the answers. All right, so 17 pancakes, or orders of pancakes. Dahlia buys some of her clothes secondhand. 75% of her shirts are secondhand, and she owns 44 shirts. How many of Dahlia's shirts are secondhand? All right, again, we like 75 out of 100. It's very similar to, or rather, it's exactly, when I divide the top and the bottom by 25, 3 over 4. So we get 3 over 4 times 44 over 1. Again, don't multiply 3 by 44. Cross out this 4 and you get an 11. And that'll give you 33 of Dahlia's shirts are second hand. A chef opens a bag of potatoes only to discover that 100% of the potatoes have gone bad. If the bag contains 18 potatoes, how many potatoes have gone bad? Hey, 100%, that's a gift. All of them. 100% is all. So 18 potatoes, 18 of them are bad. Zoe, or Z yeah, I think Zoe, and Austin share a bag of cherries. If Zoe eats 100% of the cherries and there are 77 cherries in the bag, how many cherries did Zoe eat? Hey, that's not really sharing, Zoe. I'm calling you out. So nice. Yeah, knowing math might help you uh, abuse the English language a bit, but that's not sharing. So Zoe ate 100% of the cherries. There were 77 cherries, so Zoe ate 77 cherries. That sounds like something my niece would do. She's too clever. She wouldn't do that. She's not selfish. All right. I hope you guys study and have a great afternoon. I'll see you next time.